For the latest loops and scoops, subscribe to Nagi, the Dan Avi. Wack Lacks come, the lie boom, Bototom Bush. Welcome back, my people, and this is some update to the Julia Folio killing. Yeah, the killing of that Florida or Jacksonville rapper. As most of y'all knew already, um, he died after celebrating his 26th birthday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was coming out of an holiday in and that's when ops pulled up on him and they fired shots on him and his gang he was the unfortunate one to be hit you know what i'm saying but since he has died a lot of things have been seen coming to the surface on the internet you know niggas like they are rejoicing one nigga that goes by the name of spinner bins that nigga is really rejoicing you know what i'm saying a lot of persons they are really taking jobs at um julia folio's passing in real real life i even see where they're trying to blame a female that saying that she is the one who set up julia folio but remember now if you all backtracked you know what i'm saying julia folio it seems as if he asked for all of this you know what i'm saying the fact that he was posting locations and he was just nonchalant and shit like that you know what i'm saying it seems as if none of them didn't even have any form of guns you know what i'm saying seem as if none of them had any form of guns that's julio's team i'm referring to you know so as i said julio was the one who died and i think four or three persons on his team they got injured too i'm gonna play a clip of um the female that is speaking out saying that she doesn't have anything to do with julia folio's death because she and julia they are friends and shit like that you know what i'm saying but as i said earlier Julio, he was asking for this by posting his location and shit like that, giving people like an heads up that he's gonna be keeping his party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's the one who dropped his look. So he's the one who has to take that L, but not this female. However, listen to this female, hear what she has to say, and then we'll continue deeper in this Julio Fulio saga. <laughs> Okay, y'all gonna got me out of bed because at this point I'm getting death threats. Um, I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting text messages. And I just got to let y'all know what it is. Like, I had nothing to do with Fulio's death. Fulio, me and Fulio was texting. He came to my event. Um, you know, he popped out. He was in a section. He had him a bottle. And then he dipped. Um, we did not know where he was going after that. Um, at the club, it was good vibes, nothing negative. So, you know, we, we didn't assume nothing after. Um, but all this texting my team, texting me, it just don't sit right with me like... I don't even feel comfortable walking out of my own house right now, you know, because of this whole situation. Cause I just feel like, you know, y'all fans are being hotheads or whatever, whatever the situation may be. And the only reason I'm really talking about it right now is because, you know, me and my team were receiving all these nasty messages, especially, you know, from people that don't know what happened, don't know the situation. At, you know, at our event, it was good vibes, nothing negative. And that's what, you know, that's what we can say. We're sending our heart out to his family and his friends, especially the other three people who got shot as well. And we just not, you know, we're going to keep it at that. We ain't had nothing to do with it. There was no setup. There was no nothing. And there you have it, my people, the young lady, she cleared her name, cleared the ear that she has nothing to do with Folio's death. You know what I'm saying? It's really messed up that people are trying to pin this man's death on a young female. Nah, Julio asked for this shit. Remember that last interview that he did with Sean? That interview when he got shot here yeah, with his leg all iced up or raised up in the fucking camera? Yeah. If you really look in Fulio's eyes at that point in time in that interview, you could tell that this nigga is just tired, you know what I'm saying? He's been through a lot, you know? Trust me, this nigga made up his mind that he was gonna die. He knew what the game came with, so it is what it is. 
enclosing now my people. Remember in my first video about young Julius passing, I mentioned this fellow by the name of Young Ines. Well, this nigga managed to drop a music video yesterday while the hype and buzz was surrounding um, Julio Fulius. That a lot of fans there are in a frenzy, a lot of them are trying to say, yo, this nigga is crazy. Oh, this nigga's gonna drop a diss song like this when Julio died. Is he, isn't he trying to implicate himself? Shits like that. But I'm getting to understand that this music video or this record was even done a long time ago, you know? Yeah, this work was done a long time ago, but because of the buzz that is surrounding um, Julio Folio's death, it seems as if young in Ace, he just jumped on the wave, he rode the wave, you know what I'm saying? It would be a form of marketing strategy then. He sang must get views it has to get views on due to the fact that he and Julio Folio they are rivals you know what I'm saying but in my opinion I don't think that Young in Ace have, has anything to do with Folio's fucking death I don't think so it could be and it could be not you know what I'm saying but this is all so far my people yeah this is all I hope that the young youths that are watching, that are unlooking, I hope that you know that the street's life, it ain't, it ain't the way to go, bro. It's only two, th it's only two things. It's either debt or fucking prison. You know what I'm saying? So, them young niggas, please be mindful because I know that a lot of you guys look up to these rappers. These rappers are more role models to you than your own parents, you know what I'm saying? So just be mindful, be vigilant, and ensure that you're observing. See that this tree shit, it ain't nothing pretty, bro. It ain't nothing pretty. You get me? Anyways, my people, this is all I have to say about this Julio Fulio saga. As more update unfold about this, I'll be sure to keep you all informed and posted. I'm out. For the latest loops and scoops, subscribe to Nagi, the Dan Avi. Wack Lacks come, still I boom, butter tone bush. Yaks at the bush that then does that. Hear that? Out there. Bow!